update on the first vegetable garden I prepared very rapidly and quickly back in March 2011. Here's one of the original radish plants resting on the ground now, laden heavy with seed. You can see the seed pods all forming here, waiting till they fully ripen and start to dry. I can harvest heirloom seeds for radish for next season. But this bed was the darkest of all the beds, the first one, cast in the most shadow with uh, at least uh, 13 trees around it. Uh, I did have radishes grow, obviously. They have a very nice flower. Here you can see the flower is sort of a very light colored pink. It does have a hue of purple at a time, and even blue. Reddish has a nice flower. Corn here, I only planted 12 plants right next to the cucumber here. As you can see, they're stunted. They're cobs. Although they do grow or small, I've come to find out that growing in deep shade is not going to yield a lot of fruit for some species. Carrot is one. You can see pumpkin here. They started out well, but once the trees all filled in around here with their leaves and cast more shadow, just wasn't enough sun. So the vines just died back. There's still pumpkins growing on the remaining last few weeks of life in these vines. And I'm leaving them before I harvest to get as big as they can. The corn, cucumber, all the cucurbitaceae, meaning Pumpkin, watermelon, cucumber, cantaloupe melon. Really prefer more sun. Had a small patch of black beans growing here in the shade, and they did okay. I mean, they grew beans. But I think really uh, what I've learned is I need to dedicate this bed to plants that can deal with mottled sun or some shade and only small amount of sunshine. You can see the cantaloupe melon is still trying, but never a cantaloupe on any of them plants. I do have one watermelon in this bed. It's still tiny, but we'll see. We'll let it go. Tomatoes, they're doing okay. They seem to be all right. I can put the tomato plants in the shade, and you can see many different areas of tomatoes growing up on them on all the plants so I can know I can plant tomato in the shady bed the spinach mustard grew okay here not as lush as a shade a more sunny bed but it grew and it's now bolted to seed I'm letting the seeds mature lettuce forget about terrible place for lettuce looks like pepper sweet bell pepper does okay in the shade. It is creating peppers now. And I put some shade flower plants in a section that seems to do well for these flowering plants. Coleus and Delphinius and some other flowering plants. I haven't really a culinary use for them, but I wanted to get something growing in the shade. And the last bit of this bed is a bunch of cherry tomato plants. They're growing like trees. If I stood them up they'd be about nine feet tall. I've had to train these long vines to grow on the trellises of their neighbor. Otherwise uh, they'd be on the ground and growing back up again, looping twice. But these were all doing very well. We've got cherry tomatoes popping up everywhere on these plants. Looking forward to making some Ragu red sauce this summer. On the other side of the tomatoes, we just have hidden some cabbage. Cabbage is all coming up nicely, and some more sweet peppers that seem to be getting just about as big as the tomato plants in this bed. You can see this one forming flowers now, and that'll bear some peppers pretty soon. The peas. Well, see for yourself, this strong shaded 
fence with horrible clay soil didn't really perform very well. I've gotten a few pods where I've eaten peas fresh walking around the garden picking onto this fence but really not enough sun and even worse horrible unprepared soil. So there's really not even a lesson there, it's obvious. <laughs> and that's it for the first garden, bed one.